Hello, today's video is a fragrance haul video. I have a few fragrances that I wanna share with you all and some of them I already opened and I already tried and some of them uh, is gonna be the first time that I will smell with you. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, the first fragrance is this from Costa Brazil. I did the first impression of this fragrance, but I wanna do now the follow up. Uh, this fragrance from Costa Brazil is called Aroma. And um, I won't tell you too much about this fragrance because I already did my first impression a few days ago. I just got this fragrance probably uh, four days ago and I quickly did the unboxing the same day I received it. Uh, this fragrance smells like like wood this is a woody fragrance let me tell you the notes the top notes are white flowers brazilian orange pink pepper grapefruit uh, middle notes are clear wood bourbon geranium nutmeg mir base notes are cypriot oil nargamota uh, atlas cedar vetiver amber patchouli and musk but let me tell you to me this fragrance is all wood wood and a little bit of sweetness and this one lasts long <laughs> if you don't like woody fragrance you probably won't like this this is a unisex fragrance but at the end to me when it dries down it dries a little bit uh masculine so if you are a lady who doesn't like unisex or unisex fragrance leaning to masculine, you probably won't like this. I can't wait to wear more uh, this fragrance in fall and winter because to me it's a warm and woody fragrance. And I really like how it smells. So for me, this is a, um, this is a great addition to my collection. I'm really happy I have it because I like this type of fragrances. I like fragrances that smell woody, warm, and and like earthy. That's the word, earthy. Like earthy, warm, woody. It's, it's not to wear it every day. It's not like a signature scent. Well, maybe for a guy, it may be probably be like a signature scent, or maybe a girl who likes to smell who like to uh, this type of a uh, woody, warm and earthy fragrance, maybe it can be a signature scent, but it's not a soft fragrance. This is, this is a little bit uh, strong. Let's go to the next one. These next fragrances, uh, I ordered them at uh, Anthropology. <laughs> and the first fragrance uh, in this Anthropology haul, because I bought four fragrances in anthropology. I think I'm missing one, maybe not. Uh, this is from Miller Harris and it's called Pau Santal. And this is a sandalwood bomb. <laughs> this is a mini fragrance. I bought the, only the uh, travel size and I already used it uh, twice. And since it's just a little travel size i almost finished it and now i really want to get the full size this is another woody fragrance it has sandalwood in it and i can only smell the sandalwood now i am regretting not buying the full bottle they were having a, a 25 percent off on fragrances uh, <laughs> at this um anthropology website and i think they still do so i'm going to when i finish this i'm, I'm going to wait for another <laughs> for another discount and i'm gonna get the full bottle because i really like this fragrance this fragrance is called Santal. the perfumer i think is called matthew Norden. the top notes on this fragrance are saffron mm, pink pepper and bergamot uh, the middle notes are olivanum, papyrus, violet leaf, uh, sandalwood, cashmere wood, amber, moss, and vanilla. Uh, but the main thing I smell on this fragrance is sandalwood. This fragrance is very, very sexy. 
<laughs> I will say it smell like like I really don't want to spray it because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> oh. This fragrance is woody. To me, it's warm. And it's also, it has a little bit of spiciness. I think it's because of the saffron. I'm not sure. But this fragrance is very, very sexy. If you like woody fragrances, you will love this one. I don't really feel the bergamot. I don't feel any freshness at all. And I don't even smell the vanilla. But probably all of that makes it warm. This fragrance dries on my clothes when it dries down. It's, it smells so cozy, so nice. I really like warm fragrances. <laughs> even in summer. I'm, I'm really loving this fragrance. This is one uh, of those uh, fragrances that I wish I would bought the, that I wish I bought the full size. <laughs> this is, this is a great addition to my collection. And I, and if you like uh, sandalwood warm fragrances, you will like this one. Uh, the next fragrance on this uh, haul, <laughs> Oh, the sandalwood is so sexy. <laughs> uh, another one from Miller Harris, and this is called Scherzo or Scherzo. Scherzo from Miller Harris. Look at the box. This box is so nice. <laughs> it's very colorful. Um, you're the only girl I've seen for, for a while that actually will look like something blooming. <laughs> the saying in the back of the, uh, of the box. This fragrance also I bought it uh, at uh, Anthropology, and I really like the notes on this fragrance. That's why I bought it. And the bottle is also very simplistic and artistic at the same time. Look at this. This is the regular size. Uh, this is 1.7 ounces. I didn't see a bigger size on this perfume. Uh, this perfume to me smells like wood roses. That's what I can pick quickly. <laughs> and let me tell you the notes about this fragrance. I, I have smelled things, uh, fragrances like this before, like this to me smells a lot like uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet. Lancome Oud Bouquet is uh, stronger than this, it's sweeter, but this one is a little lighter, like fresher. <laughs> Let me tell you the notes on this uh, Scherzo by Miller Harris. And it's a floral fragrance uh, for women and men. It's unisex, but I think this is more feminine than unisex. <laughs> It was launched in 2018, and this uh, fragrance has top notes of tangerine, artemisia, uh, middle notes of rose, olivanum, pythosporum, narcissus, <laughs> also has agarwood, wood, that's what I pick, sweet notes, patchouli, and vanilla. Well, I think this fragrance is a uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, to me, it's kind of a fresh take on uh, wood and, and flowers, roses. I don't smell anything else. I am not an expert on fragrance reviewing. I am just sharing my haul <laughs> and telling you what I feel about the fragrance and if I like them. I really like this fragrance. I... Um, I like it because it's that, the, the, it's that type of fragrance that I like. Woody and wood and flowers, wood and roses is, is something that I really like. Another fragrance that comes to my mind when I smell this is uh, then another uh, fragrance I just got from uh, Ex Nihilo and it's called Venom Kiss. It smell almost exactly like that. And this has a little bit of uh, 
is a little bit of lactonic. It has probably has a lactonic note because it smells a little creamy. Maybe because of the sandalwood, but it smells a little creamy. Let me check on the notes again. Maybe because of the vanilla, but it, I feel some creaminess on it. Mm. Yes, I don't smell the vanilla that much, but I feel the uh, this fragrance is a little bit creamy, wood and roses and creamy. <laughs> I'm happy to own this uh, Miller Harris Scherzo because it's, it's one of those uh, type of fragrances I like. Woody, warm, uh, uh, with roses, like a combination of wood and roses and spicy, warm. Mm, I like it. And also I like the design. It's very artistic. <laughs> This next fragrance I bought at uh, Anthropology and is from this uh, house called Calypso St. Bart. And the name of the fragrance is uh, Casablanca. Casablanca. Other uh, perfume is two ounces per bottle and this is how it looks like. I decided to get this fragrance because this fragrance is a, um, it has the note of coconut and it smells very green. Let me see. Um, it says that it has exotic coconut and violet layered with leather and oak moss. I, the only thing I can smell on this fragrance is a little bit of creaminess and also something green. It has a lot of green on it. And I'm not sure if the green notes come from the oak most. And I, uh, this is the fragrance that I really don't know if I like or I don't like <laughs> from this whole because I can feel some type of creaminess, but I don't feel the coconut. And I got it because of the note of coconut. I also cannot pick up the leather. I only pick up a green note. That's it from here. And a little bit of creaminess of the coconut. But I think I will love it more if it has more coconut on it or if it was a little bit more warm. Uh, this is fresh and green, this Casa, Calypso Saint Bar Casablanca. And also the cap is very, it's very hard. It's not that easy to close and to, uh, and to remove the cap. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't really like the fragrance. I, I don't really like how this one smell. And I have applied it on my skin and I don't like that green notes too prominent on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what note is the one that I'm not liking. I'm not sure if it's the Ogmos or I don't feel, I don't feel the violet. I don't feel the leather and I only feel a little bit of creaminess maybe from the coconut. But I don't know what note is that note that is kind of green and tart. <laughs> uh, I, you see? <laughs> they also need to improve the, the cup because it's, it's not good. It's very hard to close it. And then it falls and then it breaks. <laughs> No, but it's very strong. I am not so happy with this fragrance. I am going to keep it, but I am not that happy. I really like how it looks, but it has a little, a, a little thing in there. I don't know what that is. Can you see? Something floating in there. <laughs> yeah. I probably would like to try uh, some of their other fragrances. They have another one called uh, Fig Mimosa and this uh, Casablanca. These are the ones that I have here uh, on the, that they have here in the web anthropology website. 
I don't know. If, I don't know if something is missing because on the website it looks like it has uh, the um, tassel on it, but it doesn't have. Mine doesn't have it. I don't know. That's weird. And I bought it new. <laughs> So I am not so happy with this fragrance, but I cannot recommend it because I really am not sure about it. The next thing I got at the um, Anthropology website is this uh, fragrance for uh, from Koki Koki, but this is not exactly a fragrance. This is more like uh, like a, a mosquito repellent. <laughs> I like how this smell. It's very sharp smelling uh, uh, mosquito repellent. Uh, and this is called Seager Aqua de Colonia. I bought this one because we are going to uh, on a trip soon and I wanna try it and see if it really uh, repelled the mosquitoes and other insects in the beach or in the island. And it's an all natural seizure spray. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Seeker or kicker or I don't know, a spray. Uh, this, it says cocky all natural seizure spray has a light fresh citronella and geranium scent. It doesn't smell bad if it's a mosquito repellent. <laughs> It is better than the ones they sell at the, uh, the store. It, it smells better. Uh, and it's not that uh, uh, hard on the nose because it doesn't have chemicals. Uh, it is inspired by centuries old work of Franciscan monks in Mexico who use the Yucatan exotic plants to create medicines and fragrances. Uh, it has uh, the natural alcohol, citronella, essence, geranium essence, and is 1.85 ounces. <laughs> uh, yes, I really want to try this because it doesn't smell that bad like for um, to use it to repel the insects. <laughs> so this is a good buy. I will let you know in the future if it worked in my trip. Uh, the other uh, fragrance I got is this uh, travel size. I got this at Nordstrom. And this is from the new fragrance called Cosmic Good, Cosmic Wood by Tory Burch. They just released these fragrances. And look at this, it's very simple. <laughs> Let me tell you the notes about this fragrance and then I tell you what I think. When I went to the store, they told me that these were new. Well, I knew these were new because I received an email and they were uh, promoting these new 30 brush fragrances. If I'm not mistaken, this was launched this year, 2022. And I asked, which one is the spiciest? And they told me it was this called Cosmic Wood. I like things with wood, spices, warm, um, yeah, spicy, warm fragrances. I don't like fresh fragrances, so too much floral fragrances. <laughs> I own a few floral fragrances, but they need to have a little bit of garments in it for me to like it. So I asked for the spicy one, and they told me that the cosmic wood was one of them. The only thing is that I tried on that day, and I am not impressed with this fragrance. I am happy that I just got the travel size because i don't think i will be i think i probably will return the full size if i got it i don't really like it um i'm going to read you a little bit about this fragrance uh, from nordstrom website because i bought it there so they say this is a woody and aromatic fragrance it has a top note of cardamom and bread also middle note of jasmine and sesh and the base note of vetiver and this supposed to be a women fragrance or maybe unisex um, and they say that this is a Nordstrom exclusive other perfume uh, fragrance and this is just a um, 10 ml 
travel size. And what else it says? A word of vibrant possibilities. It combined a spicy cardamom. That was one of the reasons I got it because they told me it has cardamom. It has jasmine and vetiver. But I don't know. Let me smell it again. I wear I wore it that day and I wasn't happy. It's because it's it's kind of simple. It's fresh, it's it's not that warm. I can feel the spiciness, but it's more it's not that warm how I like it. Also it very quick dries like like a a very simple fragrance. That's I am not an expert on fragrances, but I can easily feel when a fragrance has a great is a, is of a, uh, it has a good quality of a fragrance that is very simple and very simple. <laughs> And low quality. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I uh, I don't think I would recommend nobody to spend money on this fragrance, especially if it's expensive. Maybe if you wanna try it, you can get the travel site just to refresh yourself. Now it's drying. I can smell the vetiver. Well, this fragrance is very simple i think I, I i i keep it in my purse just to refresh myself sometimes when i maybe when i wash my hands i apply a little bit maybe i like it later but the first impression wasn't uh, that exciting on this uh, cosmic wood from tori birch mm, i'm i don't know <laughs> i have smelled better fragrances than this Mm. Let me go to the next one. The last fragrance on this haul is this Skylar Cocodro Cove. And this is a new to me fragrance. I haven't smelled it yet and I'm going to smell it right now with you all. Uh, this is supposed to be a clean beauty brand. It's called Skylar and the fragrance is Coconut Cove. This is the first time I'm going to smell this fragrance. I asked uh, the mall like at uh, Nordstrom about a uh, coconut perfume and they recommended this to me. And this is supposed to have notes of bergamot, coconut, amber. It's hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin and is eco-friendly cruelty free fragrance uh it says that you can layer this fragrance with their other uh fragrances like salt air and vanilla sky 50 ml other perfume 1.7 fluid ounces eco-friendly it is still sealed I hope this smells like cocoa. <laughs> and for the purchase of this fragrance, they gave me a bunch of samples that I'm gonna show you really quick after I try the fragrance. Uh, let's smell this fragrance. And this one, I will smell it on my skin because I don't have any fragrance on me right now. Uh, the ones I show you, I already tested them on my skin. And the only one that I don't like is the Tory Burch. And I don't like Casablanca that much. So let's try and see if I like Calypso. I ah, know Skylar Coconut Cove. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, I like the cup. See? It's like a... Uh, um, marble white marble with brown accent <laughs> that's how it look like it's a really nice bottle very simple and clear and clean that's how it looks like 
This is Skylar uh, Clean Beauty Fragrance Coconut Cove uh, was launched to the market in 2021. And the complete list of noted fragrance here on the website says that it has bergamot, hibiscus, cardamom, and lemon. Those are the top notes. Uh, the middle notes are coconut, gardenia, green note, jasmine, and the base notes are ambroxan, goodsy notes, heliotropes, and vanilla orchid. So let's see how this smells like. I like the cup. Look at this. I'm going to uh, spray it on my skin because I want to test it today. Mmm, the sprayer spray is really soft and nice. Mmm, this is a fresh coconut and flowers fragrance. Mmm, it's good. Yes, I thought I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> But it's a lot, a lot better than Casablanca. Yes. I like this one a lot better. The coconut cough. I can smell the flowers, the sweetness, and the coconut. This fragrance is good. Wow. I like the sprayer. <laughs> It's like a dreamy atomizer. You know, this is a very simple fragrance and I like it a lot better than the dirty coconut from, from Heretic Parfum. I was afraid this one was going to smell like that dirty coconut from Heretic Parfum, but this one is a lot, a lot better. This is, this is sweet. This is a sweet coconut perfume. It doesn't smell like just coconut. I can feel the flowers, the coconut, and a little bit of the creaminess. Mm. And, I, and I don't know, I feel kind of a little bit of spiciness in it also. I feel the fl flowers more than the coconut, but I can feel the creaminess mixed with the flowers and a little bit of spicy, spiciness and sweet, like sugary, sugary sweet. But it's not, it's not the uh, cloying sweetness. I like it. It's a very simple and clean coconut fragrance that makes me feel good. Maybe because of the cardamom is that I'm feeling this uh, spiciness. This is a good fragrance. I really like it a lot better than Casablanca from Calypso Saint Bart. I'm, I'm sure there must be people who like this fragrance and I'm going to, I'm still going to use it because I, I'm going to keep it. But between this that has coconut in it, I prefer coconut cove. And I'm really happy that this coconut cove doesn't smell like the dirty coconut from Heretic Parfum. Mm, I never thought I was going to like this Skylar coconut cove that much. Okay, let me show you quickly what they gave me for the purchase of this coconut cove at Nordstrom. And this is the goodie bag they gave me. <laughs> uh, they gave me to try this replica beach walk. I already tried this beach walk fragrance and I don't like it and I don't recommend it. It smells like laundry soap. Uh, they gave me this flower bomb nectar. No, I never smelled this one. I don't know if I'm going to invest in it. If I Maybe if I like the... Uh, the sample aqua di gioia from giorgio armani i never tried this i mostly like uh armani fragrances from the pri private collection i never tried this um 
They also gave me another 30 birch. So I'm gonna try, maybe there's another one that I like more than uh, the uh, cosmic wood because I didn't like this one. Um, this is called My First Fragrance. I think that's how it's called. My First Fragrance from 30 Birch. Uh, there is another from, oh, it's the same. They gave me two. Uh, there's another one from uh, from Prada, Flor de Oranger. I never smelled that one. Uh, Marc Jacobs, no, I, I tested this one at the mall, but this one is, is not something I, I will invest. Uh, this is another one. Oh, finally, I have a tester of this replica by the fireplace. I really want to try this one, especially for winter. I burned a candle last year. I will never invest in a candle uh, from replica. <laughs> they burn really dirty, but I do want to buy the by the fireplace perfume because I really love uh, the uh, burning uh, fireplace smell of the fragrance, of the, of the candle, but I never smelled the fragrance, the actual perfume. Yes, this one I will probably invest and I can't wait to try this. Uh, and the last two samples that they gave me are this Versace Dylan Blue. I think this is, I don't know if this is for men or for women. This is other toilet. And, oh yeah, this. I think this is for men. I like this for my husband. <laughs> and the other one is Mew Mew other toilet. I didn't know about this new Mew, Mew. This is new to me. Uh, oh, nice. Look at this little cutie bottle. It doesn't have a sprayer. It's just like a perfume. You have to dab it. Oh yeah, I like this. And that's it for this haul. I am very happy with my uh, most of my fragrances. The only perfumes that I am not so happy about is these two, Casablanca and Cosmic Wood from Tory Birch. I am really, really happy that I like my Coconut Cove. Now I have two Coconut fragrances that I like. I like this and Coqui Coqui. And from Coqui Coqui. I can't wait to try my cedar, like my mosquito repellent from Coqui Coqui. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy with my Miller Harris. This one smells like wooden roses and this smells just sandalwood, very sexy sandalwood. And my aroma from Costa Brazil. This is a very woody, woody, woodsy fragrance. <laughs> that's it for today's video i will see you next time bye